everyone. Welcome back to The List. This bitter cold weather gripping Metro Detroit is not only dangerous for you and your loved ones, but for one of your most cherished possessions. Jimmy Rhodes has the top stories that have people talking around the D. At number one, want to know how cold it is? It's cold enough to freeze your phone. This sub-zero blast of winter can take a serious toll on your most prized gadget. So we have a list of suggestions from AT&T. Start by protecting your phone when you're outside by storing your device inside a pocket or purse. Don't leave it in your car for an extended period of time. And if you're out shoveling or snow blowing the walk, leave the phone inside so it doesn't risk getting wet. At number two, it's time for a winter driving refresher. You know, the usual slow down, increase the cushion between you and the car ahead of you, yada, yada, yada. But unless you just recently took driver's training, the first thing you need to do is unlearn some bad habits. Remember 10 and 2 and hand over hand turns? Well, forget them. If you cross your hands at the 10 and 2 driving position, if you're in a crash and the airbag goes off, you can sustain some significant injuries. Remember that hooey about steering into the direction of the turn when your vehicle's spinning? Well, figuring out what that actually means doesn't work in panic situations. You want to focus on the direction that the car is going, look in that direction, and steer in that direction. Drive safely, Detroit. At number three, fight cabin fever during the cold snap with a unique tour of Detroit from the comfort of your car. Joseph Krause is the man behind Backseat Detroit Tours, and to say he knows a lot about the city is an understatement. Our first governor, Stevens T. Mason, is buried underneath this statue. This Ford building is not named for Henry Ford. A tour can typically be two to four hours to see a little bit of downtown and see the close-in neighborhoods. Joe handles the content, you take care of the driving. I'm visually impaired and I gave up driving in 2012. That's why it's a backseat tour. That's why it's a backseat tour. All right. I'm a backseat driver. <laughs> Joe says the D surprises out-of-town visitors. They come here with the idea that it's abandoned and they fall in love with the people. Even locals get a fresh take on Detroit. Downtown has changed for the better so rapidly that they're very surprised. Book your tour at BackseatDetroit.com. Now you're caught up and clued in around the D.